Hi guys, welcome to another video with Mal. Today I have a loot crate. I wasn't expecting to get a loot crate, but it just showed up the other day. Um, loot crate sent me an email saying something was on the way, and I was like, there can't be, because I canceled everything two months ago, but yet, there is a loot crate in front of me. Um, I think what's happened, and I hope what's happened, that they haven't just charged me randomly for, is that I had skipped so many months on my loot crate, but I still had, like, I had overpaid already, so they've sent me this one, because I didn't skip the next month. So yeah, so I've got a loot crate this month. Um, I think the theme was like futuristic. I believe that's what it was. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of Loot Crate because I thought I'd stop the subscription. So they're randomly showing up. So hopefully it's something good. So I'm going to open this up. This is a Loot Crate for July. Uh, it should be the normal one. Um, when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. Oh yeah, this is definitely futuristic because we've got like a futuristic city here. So I'm going to grab the first thing I see, which is probably the thing I'm going to be most excited about, I think is a Futurama thing. Uh, it's a QM Mini Masters Vehicles. It is the Planet Express ship from Futurama. I absolutely love Futurama. I love it more than The Simpsons. I like The Simpsons enough, um, but Futurama is totally my jam. I love it. So this looks like it's a Loot Crate exclusive, so I'm happy to get this. I'm a little bit disappointed I'm not gonna get a Nerd Block this month because I've canceled it. Um, because it's a Back to the Future item. I don't know what it's going to be. I'll probably buy it off eBay. We'll see. So it's a little ship. It's coming there. And it's got a little base. So let's see how this looks. Ooh, fancy. It's got a little stand. Let me get it out. I will want this on display. It'll probably go on my nerve shelf behind me where everything is like full. Uh, does that go there? I think this goes in here. It looks like it does. Yeah. So that means the ship goes on there. It says, um, reliable interplanetary delivery serving the Milky Way and beyond Planet Express. Cool. I like it. I, I love Planet Express and I love Futurama. I'm a big fan of it since it started and I was really happy when it came back. So the ship is pretty hollow. It's not heavy at all. It's really, really light. It looks like there's some kind of magnet at the bottom. And that... Oh, yes, it's definitely a magnet because <laughs> it folds it onto it. So that's what it looks like. You could put it, oh, yeah, uh, you can't really put it any direction. You can put it that way or that way. It doesn't really fold that way. So you'll break it. Don't break it, Melissa. Um, it's kind of cool. I like it. I never thought I'd have a model of the Planet Express ship, but apparently I do. And it's going to go on the nerd shelf. So yay! Joining the nerdy stuff. Quite like the box as well. There's lots of good like pictures of Fry and Leela on it, and people with heads in jars and Hermes and Bender. So cool. I like that. Get down there for a second. What's next? What's next? Let's look at the shirt. Um. Uh, uh, what is it? It's a nice shirt. It's a very nice feeling. I like the feel of the shirt. Um. It is Rick and Morty. Why is everything? Rick and Morty lately? Is it like really popular and I don't know about it? Because I've never watched an episode of Rick and Morty. I kind of think it looks like Doc Brown though <laughs> and uh, Marty so maybe I should. But yeah I, I quite like the feel of the shirt but I don't know if I'd ever wear it because I'm not a Rick and Morty fan. I wouldn't want someone to come up to me and be like oh I love your shirt and I'd be like mm, I don't know anything about it. Might be good to sleep in. Might be a sleeping in shirt. We'll see. Okay next thing. Uh, we got Mega Man. I don't know much about Mega Man. Um, you know the game? Haven't played the game and I don't even know how many years, but it looks like it's a blind box figure. I'll get one of these. Let's see who we got. Maybe it'll be exciting. What did I do with my scissors? Oh no, I've lost my scissors. I have my scissors. Ah, they're over here. Like I had them when I opened the box, so where have they gone? It's like I'm not gonna try and open stuff without scissors. It's not what you do if you're a professional unboxer. You gotta use scissors for everything. <laughs> Uh, it's a kid robot figure, so kid robot figures tend to be nice. The ones I've gotten from kid robot in the past, I've gotten some of the South Park ones. They're nice. Oh, got a blind bag, a little silver baggy. Come on, probably not gonna be able to guess who it is, so I'm not gonna know any characters. Uh, hair feels fairly smooth. I kind of like this little girl. I don't know who she is, but she looks cute. 
Uh, I don't think it's anybody with blobby hair, so I'm just going to open it up because I don't know any of the characters anyway, so. Oh, look. We got Mega Man. I do know a character. Um, uh, he's not in very good condition. He's in pretty crap condition, guys. Look at this. Look at the paint. He's got a chip on his, on his private. <laughs> Yeah, it's not great, Kid Robot. This isn't very well painted, really. Nah, looking a bit shoddy here. We got Mega Man. Yeah, we had a 1 in 20 chance of getting him. I think, well, most of them were 1 in 20. Except for this ugly thing, whichever that is. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with that. I think he's going to go back in the bag and he might go to someone else's house eventually. If someone would like him, possibly in a box someday. We'll see. Maybe I might join the video game box. Do you think I should put this in the video game box if I can fit it? I might try. Because that kind of fits the theme. Next thing. Star Trek. Ah, uh, yeah. It looks like some kind of puzzle, I guess. Loot Crate exclusive. I think it's a puzzle. I don't like Star Trek. I have friends that do, though. So I'm going to open that and give that to them. I think it's like a build-your-own model of... It doesn't even look like the Enterprise. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Tell me what that is. Um, I've got lots of friends that like Star Trek, though. Uh, we've got a 4000 AD comic. Never heard of that one. Um, yeah. I don't know who that is. I love comics. Um, it's a Valiant comic, number one. I'll have a go. I don't know anything about it. Uh, 400... 101 AD. Let's see what it's about. See if we can find it quickly and find out what this comic's actually about. It looks like some kind of like robot guy. Maybe a cyborg. Perhaps. Kind of looks like a cyborg. Oh. My Googling skills are not that good. Oh, I use Googling. I hate that word. Okay. AD. Comic. Let's see what we can find out about this. Number one. Uh, you can get it for Bin Planet. That's a lot of information here. It's just like, unopened copy, and it's like, uh, well, I'm guessing they're all selling their comics from here. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. If you know about this, tell me about it. Um, I'll probably open it and have a go. See what it looks like. I got a loose pen. Oh, it's a Star Trek one. Star Trek Online. I know someone is going to want this. It's a Spock. Live long and prosper, which I cannot do. Nope. Not, not a chance. I, ow, it hurts my hand trying to do that. <laughs> nope, I can't do it. Uh, futuristic was the theme. I kind of like the pen. It doesn't actually scream Loot Crate on it, which is nice. Thank you, Loot Crate, for not putting your logo all over the pen, just around it. Uh, go to LootCrate.com. Looks like it's unlocked something in Star Trek Online. Be cool for my friends that like Star Trek. Our uh, booklet. Let's see if it. Oh, we got Rick and Marty like coloring page in here. That's kind of cool. Uh, so the pin. Uh, Star Trek Online Universe appears first on a truly massive scale. Free for all play online game. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, da, 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 da. Luke Clay exclusive pack. You get a Starfleet Admirals commission pack worth 50 pounds. Well, $50. That's pretty good for a pin. Uh, filled with ships, weapons, boosts, and more. Beam up and join the action today on your PC. So, I'm not playing that, so it's worth nothing to me. So, um, might try and pass on to someone else. Loot Crate rakes the captains. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I've not seen very much Star Trek, but I agree Picard is definitely the best captain. I would put Janeway above Kirk, though. Definitely would. Definitely put Janeway above Kirk. If I was going to. I've seen very few things of Star Trek, so. Um, apparently, the Rick and Morty thing is Rick's portal gun. That's cool, I guess. I don't know anything about it, but yeah. Uh, Mega Man red variant figure. Oh, so did everybody get the red one? Yeah, apparently got everybody got the red one. Not really a mystery pack, then. Thanks. <laughs> guess. Not really a mystery pack. What's the point of that? Oh, I love these teas for two. You can get one for your dog. I kind of like one. Oh, I kind of want to get one for Haley, but I won't. Uh, so this comic, this four, 
thousand AD. Uh, what is it about? Tell me what's about. Say this is a two thousand two relaunch. What is it? <laughs> um, it doesn't actually tell me. It just tells me it's a relaunch of a comic. I don't know anything about this comic, and I would actually like to know what the storyline is. Tell me. And then they're like um, recommending other comics to me. Um, yeah, I'm not interested in any of them. Your fandom, your style, if you say so. Um, anybody get the uh, the fangirl box from, I think it was Luke, right? I'm not going to because I just thought it was really expensive just for girly things. That's ridiculous. I shouldn't have to pay more to be a girl. Sorry, that's discrimination. Don't make me pay more to be a girl. And yes, it might include a dress, but dresses don't cost that much more than t-shirts. Really, they don't. Okay, so, did I like this box? Well, I wasn't expecting it, so that was the thing that, um, mostly, because <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I like this the best, because it's something that is part of my fandom. The rest of it's a bit hit or miss for me, because I don't like Star Trek, but I know people that will, and they'll love those things. I don't like Mega Man, so I don't really care. The pin is cool. I like the pin a lot, and if I was a Star Trek nerd, this would be awesome. Fortunately, I'm not comic. I don't know anything about it. T-shirt. Very nice feeling t-shirt. I like the feel of this t-shirt. And if you could do more t-shirts like this, Luke Crate, I would like that because it's very soft and nice. The problem is the design doesn't suit me. I don't know. I don't know. It's not, it's not a suitable design for me. And the Star Trek little puzzle thing, I'm not going to use. So I really got one item on that box. <laughs> really. I probably wore the t-shirt though. And this is the inside. I think it looks quite cool. Got a little city there, you got a loading box. Um, yeah, it looks quite cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, so best item in there, definitely the Futurama thing and probably the t-shirt after it. So let me know in the comments what you liked best. Did you like this box? Do you feel like there's the right value in there? I feel like the value's there. If I like the items, the value would be there. I am disappointed my Mega Man does have some paint flaws on it. And that's not up to Loot Crate, that's up to Kid Robot. So Kid Robot, why? Do a better job on your figure, seriously. But yeah, I think the values are, I think it's a decent box. It's just not to my taste. And I wouldn't have ordered it. I didn't realize it was coming through. I'm happy to get the Futurama item, but the rest of it I wouldn't have picked if it was a box for me. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, to check out more unboxings and cosplay videos and Comic-Con videos and travel videos coming soon. Sorry, I'm really excited. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Mel here. I really want you to subscribe, subscribe. Want you to subscribe, subscribe. Want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.